the first thing I noticed when I started watching this is the scale of the series. Even on your TV, it feels so massive, the world and the creatures. How did you pull that off? I mean, our, our it's a lot down to our directors and our uh, uh, directors of photography. Uh, so, I mean, one one of the undergirding philosophies of, of what Gareth Edwards did in the Godzilla 2014 film is, you know, the creatures are so big that they can't fit in the frame. And you know, you make those intentional choices of like, how are you going to frame this up so that so that the monster will, you're only seeing a portion of it. And then, you know, you do pull out and get wide shots as well so that you can see the sense of scale and everything. But that that really is like one of the intrinsic thing is you, you ground it in some subjective uh, reality. You have people in the foreground mixed into the action, you know, and and a lot of decisions of like, you know, maybe our creatures for a scene are a little bit smaller so that we can actually achieve that. So, you know, we're we're in the middle of a, a, a building, you know, an old abandoned building. And instead of having a 300 foot tall monster that would just destroy the building instantly, you've got, you know, so, uh, like a lot of small creatures. Yeah, you have the amazing shot with the ship tipping, which uh, you don't expect in the middle of an island. And uh, it really captures that and makes you feel like, oh, you know, you're in your head like, run, run. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. It's, things. It's definitely one of those things. And, you know, like we add scale to all that stuff by like, okay, there's little bits of vines hanging off the edge and there's some old boxes that were on the deck that didn't somehow didn't fall, you know, fall off however it ended up there. And, you know, you see those tumbling off the side and it, it gives like a real, again, a sense of scale and complexity to mm -hmm. the, the shots. Is there one challenge that you had the most fun tackling or that you're most proud of? I mean... The, the creature design is the biggest challenge and it's also the most fun part of the job, you know, like, like the early way, the, the earlier part of the, the production, you know, sometimes the script would have a very clear delineation of what the, the writers wanted out of something. And sometimes it'd be like, Chris would come to me and like, I'm not sure what we should do here. And so like, you know, you know, I take a lot of inspiration from the weird, creepy things at the bottom of the ocean. And so I put together these decks and we'd have Zoom calls. We'd be like, oh, that seems interesting. Let's, let's take that and combine it with this beetle. And then that's, you know, the creature that's in the bottom of a plutonium plant. And, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a really fun process to work on. And, but also massively hard because sometimes your ideas just don't work and you got to be honest about it. How long is that process? Like just creating one of those? um it, uh long um you know it could be it could be like half a year right like and oh, wow. you know you know like you and not because it takes that much calendar time like physical physically doing the work but you might try something and it doesn't work and then you might try something and it doesn't work and then when you put it on screen you know like we had one creature where we we had like a really strong design it looked well looked great in stills and then we put it into the post viz basically like before you actually turn over to the vendor to do the final images, you do like a really rough animation pass, put it in and we're like, this is not scary. This is just weird. So, you know, then, then we're like, okay, well, let's give it big pointy teeth. Let's make it dark. Make, let's make it, you know, all of these things that, 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 you know, you draw from to, to, to make it work. So, so that, that process might, you know, you might do something. We did that like really quickly in like a two week period. And then, and then, four months went by and then we look at it and it's like, oh, and that didn't work. Not what you want, but Hey, you know, it, it, what I see on screen so far looks great. So I'm looking yeah. forward to seeing more and uh, thank you for taking the time to speak about it today and, and best of luck going forward. Thank you so much.